Hey, hey everyone, Rasbowski here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Pitch Black Egglock. In the previous episode, guys, we had an oh-so-romantic Ferris wheel ride with Lord N. Now that motherfucker knows how to treat a girl and make her feel pretty, as we did in the previous episode. Today, guys, we're going to be carrying on with the adventure by hopefully grabbing that oh-so-sexy fourth gym badge of the adventure so let's just jump straight into the gym and get on with it as you might expect because this is a lightning gym we're gonna be riding around on the roller coasters with little rv out front although i say little rv little rv is now an absolute monstrous torterra oh we kind of uh, just fucked up there didn't get off at the right stop oh man now we're gonna wait for the thing to come back but yeah because uh torterra's typing is part ground ground grass we're obviously gonna be using that motherfucker and hopefully Hopefully that should negate us against any um, grass type moves they might try and use on us because I'm guessing that a lot of the Pokemon in here might be able to use like say grass not some kind of shit like that so uh, we need to be very very wary of that. Your fashion sense it's kind of November townish. Well, fuck you then, girlfriend. We're going to be going through this gym, hopefully sweeping through them. All of our Pokemon at level 42, if you remember from the previous episode. So we're actually in a very good position. And first up, we have gotten a Molga to deal with, which is obviously going to be immune to our Earth Power attacks. So we're going to have to use something different on the Molga. And that's something different. We'll probably just go for the Seed Bomb. We are holding the... What are we holding? I think we're holding the... The thing that ups the grass type power, what's it called again? I can't remember. But obviously, Emolga is going to be spamming Double Dean here. And we're going to be absolutely in trouble. Oh, acrobatics, eh? We can hold on to that, even though it's going to be super effective. We need to watch out with that. But we should be able to take Emolga out here. Not very effective. A uh, little Torterra, little Torterra. We should be able to finish it off with a cut if we actually manage to hit. But we're 10 levels higher than this Amolga, so the Amolga is not going to be too much of an issue at all. Yee no, let's not switch Pokemon. Oh, another Amolga. Absolutely spectacular. That's the trouble with this uh, ROM hack. We're not actually able to see... Uh, what Pokemon's going to be coming up next, but we get the cut off first time, taking it down to half health, and which and the Seed Bomb actually took off more damage, and we'll finish off the Amolga, thank you very much. If she's got another Pokemon, we will switch out, but she doesn't. That lovely Fashionista lady right there. So, let's go into the bag real quick, because we need to heal up our lovely little RV. I reckon there's going to be an absolute butt-ton of... Uh, uh, of those Amolgas that are going to be in this gym, so we need to be very, very wary of that. Let's quickly flip the switch and change the roller coaster path so we can move on through the gym, guys. We are at the fourth gym. I can't believe it. We've only had two losses in the adventure, so touch wood as I tap my head right here and my penis that we do not lose anybody else in here. But let's see what this little guy has. Maybe a female? I'm not sure. Welcome, challenger. I will do you the greatest of honors and accept your challenge. I didn't challenge you, you challenged me. I'm busy trying to get to the gym leader and you motherfucker are halt in my progress. So rich boy Cody, you're gonna be sending out your Blitzel first, which is gonna be obviously fast as Mook. But we should be able to take any moves, although this guy will probably have some sort of flame charge, flare blitz, something like that. So that's gonna be a bit of a, oh, okay. It's only gonna go for stop. It might cause us to flinch though. There we go, it got a crit and flinched. Thank you very much, Rom Hack. Thank you very much. Let's. Really? Another flinch? Are you just going to keep flinching? No, we got the pursuit now. That's fine. We should be able to take out one hit KO with this Earth Power. Yes! Almighty RV! RV is an absolute monster! Um, nope, we don't want to switch out. Going to be sending in the Electabuzz, which is going to have Ice Punch, which is four times effective, am I right? Is it a good idea to switch out then, maybe? Let's switch out. Let's switch out to Red Arrow because I don't want it to use the Ice Punch on us because I think that is going to be very, very effective. Oh, let's go for the Light Screen. Okay, fair enough. Raising the Special Defense. We're not going to go for a Specially Defensive move anyway. We're going to go for Steel Wing. Get a nice stab off and hopefully take out the Electabuzz. It's not very effective. The Electro Ball shouldn't take off too much damage to us. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's go for... Let's go for the Night Slash. That should take off a decent amount of damage and finish off the Electabuzz without too many issues there. Thank you very much, Electabuzz. You're going down, man. You're going down. We get some decent experience. Little RV goes up to level 43. Look at that defense. 148, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Roll, 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 roller coasters. I absolutely love the shit out of roller coasters, guys. I know you've... Probably, if you've been around on the channel for a long time, you would have heard me talk and talk and talk your asses off about me going to, um, about me going to Florida, 
But me going to Florida and uh, jumping on the roller coasters there, either at Disney or Universal or Busch Gardens or anything like that, I absolutely love the shit out of roller coasters. And it's something that I would just, honestly, I would go on all the fucking time if I could. Oh, hello. Clever girl. Are you cool riding a roller coaster? Y yes, really cool. When you ride a roller coaster, the speed can make you dizzy. I'm gonna make your head spin with a Pokemon battle that is just as intense. This motherfucker is gonna absolutely give us a good time. Which, rich boy Roland, I am looking forward to you making my head spin. Okay, so it's gonna go for an Electrode. See, Electrode, if you go for Explosion, I will not, I will not be happy. It's a shame we don't have Protect on this set, because that would have been nice to try and negate that uh, dirty, dirty tactic. So we're gonna go for Earth Power and see, okay, you're gonna be lowering our defense, you bastard. Electrode is uh, one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. So it was always gonna outspeed us here, especially because RV is not very fast. But we take it out one hit KO, so it does not matter how fast you are, motherfucker. If you're not gonna attack us on your first turn, then that is your problem. But because our defenses have been lowered, let's switch out into... Who should we switch out into? Um, the thing is, we could put in Have Fun, but let's put in Red Arrow. Let's put in Red Arrow, and hopefully they don't have any sort of flame moves on the Pokemon, and we should be able to get through Magneton. Magneton's not going to be too much of an issue. Let's go for... Let's go for Steel Wing. I don't think Steel resists Steel, does it? Okay, well, um, maybe it's Lightning that resists Steel, but either way, that guy uh, ate up that hit like a fucking boss. Let's go for Egg Scissor. That's going to be a nice stab move, and it's not very effective. Again, I think um, Red Arrow is not going to be very good uh, against these guys in the gym here. But Dark, I know it re Steel used to resist Dark, but in Gen 6, that's changed now. So I think Red Arrow is actually going to not be very useful in this gym whatsoever. Your way of battling is elegant. You've got a style even compared to Miss Elisa. Let me... Yeah, thank you very much. Jump in that roller coaster real quick. Jump all smoothly round. Oh, look at that motherfucking... Whoa, we are so damn fast. We're so damn fast in there. Right, let's switch this up real quick. And I presume somebody else is going to be wa waiting to jump out. Oh... It's a lovely female. Your Nimbasa gym challenge is finally nearing its finale, but if you don't beat me, you won't get to miss Elisa. That is very true, motherfucker, so let's do this. I am also a Pokemon trainer who was toughened up by Miss Elisa. She used to whip me all day long. That's the kind of kink Razbowski is into. Yes, 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 yes. So, yes, I've been talking about... Roller coasters, I absolutely love the shit out of roller coasters. Whether it's at Alton Towers, if anybody knows what Alton Towers is, uh, if you're not British, if you're American, Alton Towers is basically like the, the biggest, well, the biggest, the second biggest uh, theme park in Britain. And it's uh, located down in England. It's really, really good. It's so much fun. And it's just a really good laugh. It's got some excellent roller coasters there. I used to love going there as a kid, man. Honestly, absolutely loving the shit out of roller coasters. Which actually brings me on to today's question of the day. What is your favorite roller coaster? Now, I know most of you, well, not everybody, but most of you have probably been to a theme park in your life or some kind of amusement park that has roller coasters. What is your favorite ride? What has been your favorite ride out of every single roller coaster you've ever been on? Now, what is mine, I hear you say. Now, mine is, uh, is actually in Florida. Uh, my favorite mo one, and let's go for superpower here, see if we can defeat the Luxio in one hit. Get rid of it. Oh, it held on. It held on. That's not good. And it's going to go for the swagger. We're going to be switching out here um, because little RV has got his defense lowered. And if it attacks itself, it's just too damn powerful. It'll probably knock itself out. So let's switch into... Uh, let's switch into... Let's switch into have fun. See if have fun can do any sort of damage to this guy. Uh, my favorite my favorite roller coaster is in, uh, is in Bush Gardens in... Um, what do we want to do here? Let's go for extreme speed just to kill the Luxio off. Um, what the fuck am I talking about? What the fuck am I talking about? Bush Gardens, it's Chakra. Now, um, if anybody from Britain doesn't know what, uh, has never been to Bush Gardens, it's kind of like Oblivion at Alton Towers. You've got the, you've got the roller coasters up, it's around and it's around and down, and then you've got the massive, the really, really steep drop. And the steep drop is absolutely monstrous. 
And I think you've got two of them on the chakra, but the, the fact that it just it has you looking over the edge, it has you looking over the edge and, and for a couple of seconds and then just drops you right down really, really motherfucking fast. And that is just amazing. I went on that about three, four times when I was there. I went and sat in the front row, I sat in the middle row, just to just to see what the best uh, best position to sit in would be. So that was good. Actually, let's just jump right back out of here real quick because we could do with actually going to uh, get a cheeky little heal up. Can we can we escape rope out of here? Because that would be really handy. I don't know even if I've got any escape ropes actually saying that. Um, uh, uh, no, I don't. So what I'll do, guys, I'll skip ahead and you'll just see me right back in this exact position when we get back because who knows how long it'll take me to get around all these roller coasters. See you in a few. Okay, guys, that's us back. We're ready to rock and roll, getting on the roller coasters again. And um, while we're waiting for this roller coaster to come back, which takes an absolutely fucking a lot longer than it should have, we loop the loop around there. Is remember to answer the question of the day in the box below. Um, because I would love to hear what your favourite roller coaster is. You've heard mine, and now it would be excellent to hear what you guys say. Oh. Let's just give her a little back rub real quick. Rub, 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 rub. Okay, let's have a battle. How are you doing, Elisa? I presume you're probably a man in this game, so let's just get on with it. Did the fantastic speed make you want to vomit? My beloved Pokemon will meet... Will be the next one to make you feel sick. Okay, well, this guy's just gonna be getting straight to the point. Look at Elisa. He is so damn handsome. He has shaved his armpits like, no, oh, look at him go. Leader Elisa. <laughs> Flexing that shit is absolutely fantastic. So he's leading off with Raichu, guys, which is gonna be nice and juicy for our little RV. Little RV at level 43. Little RV at level 43 is gonna take it out. He's got an air balloon, the clever motherfucker! The clever motherfucker! So let's go for Seed Bomb because as we found out again. Surf? That right, you know Surf? I wonder if it knows Fly as well. And um, like the secret Pikachu that you got as an, was it an event Pikachu that you got um, Fly and Surf and stuff on? Either way, that's fantastic. And the right, you has gone. The air balloon has popped and RV has taken his first victim, guys. We are well on our way to getting that oh so sexy fourth gym badge of the adventure. Elise is sending in something. We are not going to switch out unless it's an oh, a Galventula. Galvantula. Let's go for the Earth Power, see what we can get off. It's going to go for Signal Beam, which is gonna, probably going to be quite good, but it shouldn't kill us. Okay, okay, we managed to take that hit fairly well. If we can kill the Ga Galvantula here in one hit, 
then we can move on and switch out to one of our other Pokemon because that'll be quite nice. Galvantula holds on quite well, actually, quite well. Okay, okay, okay. Can we hold on another one of those hits? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think we probably could. Honestly, I think we probably could. So let's just go. Let's hold on, 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 hold on. 12 HP, yo. 12 HP. No, no way are we confused. No way. Don't you kill. Don't kill yourself, RV. Don't kill yourself, RV. Don't kill yourself, RV. RV used Earth Power. RV used Earth Power. RV used Earth Power. Oh, that was a risk that I didn't. Oh. That was too much of a risk, and we have killed the Galvantula RV. You have taken two victims. Let's body, let's body bag those um, those corpses and move on to the next Pokemon. Great work, RV. You are an absolute monster, and you are def. Oh, you are definitely my favorite. You are definitely my favorite. Let's move on to somebody else. Let's bring in Have Fun. Have Fun should be able to come and do a nice amount of damage, and then move on, especially because you resist resist a lot of the elements that they're going to be using. Electric. Okay. Electric. We should be faster than electric, so let's go for... Um, let's go for the extreme speed, or should we go for the thunder wave? I don't think lightning Pokemon actually resist lightning in this game, so let's go for the extreme speed. Um, extreme speed. Let's go for the thunder wave. Let's try and paralyze it, and then give ourselves a little bit of thinking room. It can't it can't, it can't move, because it's paralyzed. Excellent work. Let's go for the extreme speed, the all-powerful extreme speed, and see how much damage we do on this guy. It can be quite bulky. It can be quite bulky, so it'll be interesting to see. Over half health. We did get the crit, though, and it's going for the thunder wave, crippling our poor little dragon air. Have fun. But if I remember correctly, a dragon air actually has shed skin. So hopefully we can get rid of that after the extreme speed, obviously, though. If we can kill this guy in this hit, then we can move on to the next Pokemon. <gasps> It's using U-turn as well, that bastard! That bastard! It's getting out of here. That was really powerful, actually. I did not expect that power there. Now, we get to see the Rotom. Okay, so Rotom is gonna be Ghost and Lightning, so it's gonna trace the shed. Oh, the shed skin has got rid of our paralysis. That is absolutely fantastic. So, let's just go for the same tactic. Let's Thunder Wave the little Rotom, give ourselves a little bit more breathing room, and because remember the guys in Pokemon Pitch Black, it, remember to the very first episode, it's all about tactics. It's all about our tactics. So we're treating this like a human player. We're treating this like a human player, and just going straight for attacks is not gonna work. So, we're gonna go for Dragon Tail this time, because we have to do extreme speed, and it is going for Thunder Wave. It managed to outspeed us even with paralysis to get off the thunder wave that dirty bastard that dirty dirty bastard But we break through it and we managed to get the dragon tail off which is gonna switch that Pokemon out bring him back in the Electros Okay, so Electros is dragged back out. Let's go for the extreme speed on the Electros. Hopefully. Oh the hyper potion Clever girl. Clever girl. At least she never used a full restore getting rid of the paralysis as well. I would not have been pleased with that. If we can't buy full restores at this stage in the game, you can't have full restores at this stage in the game. So, we're gonna go for the Dragon Tail this time because it should be more powerful being a stab move. And hopefully we can get it. Yes, we do get it through. We do break through. And we're gonna be bringing back in the Rotom, which is gonna be fucking with her brain right now. It's gonna be fucking with her brain. And it is using leftovers, is that? No, it's restoring some health with a citrus berry. Now, let's just go try and go for the dragon tail once. Oh, guys, oh, guys, the Rotom is paralyzed. Oh, I am so nervous, guys. I am so nervous. And no, we're a little bit higher than the Pokemon, but still. It's still, it's a nervy situation to be in. Okay, yes. Yes, have fun. You shed that dirty, dirty skin that's been on you. Get rid of that filth that that Rotom rubbed all against you. Electroc is paralyzed. We're going to go for the Dragon Tail once more. We hit the Dragon Tail, guys. And I think that should be the Electric God. Oh, my God. It's still alive. And it's bringing out her final Pokemon, the Zeb Striker, which I think looks like it's going to be her ace. So let's do the same tactic. It's all about the Thunder Wave. <gasps> oh, dear Lord. What have I done? What have I done? I boosted special attack. I boosted this special attack. Let's Dragon Tail. Let's get rid of this Zeb Striker. Please, let's get rid of the Zeb Striker. Thank you very much. That boosted attack is gone now because we've <laughs> got rid of it thanks to the Dragon Tail. Right, what do we need to do now? She's probably going to heal her electric, so we're going to heal our Pokemon as well. Let's go for the HP. Oh, we've only got Super Potions. Oh, look at Super Potions, guys, but that should be enough to get our Pokemon up a little bit more. Have Fun's HP was restored, and it's going to use Thunder Wave. She wasn't healing our Pokemon. She wasn't healing our Pokemon at all. Have Fun. 
is paralyzed. But the shit skin pays off. The shit skin. Oh, have fun. That is absolutely amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Let's get the extreme speed off. Let's get the extreme speed off. See you later, electric. Finally, we have taken out that fucking electric eel, which actually looks monstrous in this game. But if you have a look at it in Pokemon X and Y, it just looks like some kind of little dangling bit of sperm just floating around. I've got one of them in my competitive teams, and, and I, I really like it, actually, to be honest. Going to send in the next Pokemon. It's probably going to be the Rotom. It is the Rotom, um, which we'll hopefully be able to take out because it's... Um, it's very, very near the end of its, uh, the end of its use here. So let's get, use the Dragon Tail again. It is paralyzed, cannot move. Let's get off this Dragon Tail. Thank you very much. Have fun. Let's do this. Let's kill the Rotom. And Have Fun takes another victim. That's two victims for Have Fun. Two victims for a little RV. And we're going to be moving on to the final Pokemon, which is going to be her Zebstrika. Now, Zebstrika seems to continually be continually using, uh... Uh, to be continually using its uh, stomp move. So, does Zeb Striker have anything that can affect? Let's bring in Haunter. Let's bring in Dark. Let's bring in Dark and see what Dark can do against it. Because uh, Stomp isn't going to affect it, and then we'll be able to see what other moves it has. Hopefully, hopefully Haunter can be um, ultimately powerful, and we can be able to get rid of the Zeb Striker in the first hit. Because obviously, Zeb Striker is already weakened. So let's go for the all-powerful Shadow Ball, and hopefully that we outspeed the little guy and kill it. Come on, come on, Dark, get that all-powerful kill, get that all-powerful kill, Dark. Thank you very much, chap, chap, chap. Dark takes his first victim in a gym. That is absolutely fantastic. Have fun, get experience. Dark Darkest experience, and we move on. I meant to make your head spin, instead you made mine spin. This guy is awfully dizzy as we grab that oh-so-sexy fourth gym badge of the adventure. Guys, we are halfway through. We are halfway through. My oh my, you have a sweet fighting style. You even beat my Galventula. Excuse me, I, uh... Oh, here. I want you to have this. Thank you very much. I will take that badge. I will ram it right up my arse where the rest of the badges are. That's what I think about your gym challenges, guys. <laughs> Only joking. JK. JK. LOL. JK. LOL. Okay, guys, that was good. That was a really good battle. I think we played very well with uh, Have Fun there, especially with the Shed Skin that came in. That was very, very handy having Shed Skin. If you have four badges, including the Bold Badge, Pokemon up to level 50, including Traded Pokemon, will obey you. Also, here's this move I like. Feel free to use it um, if you want to. Volt Switch. I didn't see you use that once, but thank you very much. That might come in handy on some of my Pokemon. Volt Switch is one of the few new TMs in Gen 5 that doesn't suck balls. Like me, I suck balls. I mean, struggle bug? What the heck is up with that? You're going to Driftvale City next? Of course, there is a Pokemon gym there after all. Oh, I bet you won't be able to get there. You know what? I'll fix it so you can cross. Wait for me on Route 5. Okay, motherfucker, I will wait for you on Route 5. But there we go, guys. We've managed to grab that fifth badge. A uh, fifth badge? Whew. Steady on there, Razmowski. Fourth oh-so-sexy gym badge of the adventure with actually we played really well in that gym battle. We didn't lose anybody. We didn't lose anybody because that was the main point of it. Even Little Dark came in there and managed to grab a kill. But the MVPs were obviously RV. But I think the, the star of that battle was have fun. So thank you. Thank you very much to everybody that has actually sent in eggs. But especially to the people that have sent in have fun. Have fun has been an absolute monster in that gym. And, uh... We kicked ass! We kicked ass! So guys, we are halfway through the gym badge collecting adventure, which is actually awesome. So, it's gonna be sad when we lose this. I love all the little guys. I've grown quite an attachment. See if RV or Have Fun ever dies. Holy shit, I'm gonna be heartbroken. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, then please hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed and you're watching this episode, then please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. But either way, guys, I've been Razbowski. You've been the wonderful bastards, as always, for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!